Hey there. In today's video, we're going to walk through the process of creating subpatterns. This is a pattern that is contained within another larger pattern. In order for a subpattern to repeat seamlessly in the larger pattern, it must be evenly divisible by both height and width. Before we move forward, I want to address scale. This artwork at some point has been indexed, so we can see that it currently has eight colors in the artwork. When I scale my artwork up or down to potentially accommodate a subpattern, we can change the height and width proportionally, but please make sure your resolution is 300. Please take note where it says resample at the bottom of the image size window. It says automatic, in this case nearest neighbor. This is an index file, so it will scale it up with only the eight colors in the artwork. If this were an RGB file format and I scaled up my artwork, We can see that it automatically blurs out and adds additional colors to my artwork. A way to prevent your indexed file from blurring edges as an RGB file when you scale up, you would change the resample setting to nearest neighbor. It's going to maintain the eight colors in your artwork as it scales it up or down. So please take note RGB files, when you change the image size, Make sure under resample it says nearest neighbor. Subpatterns are smaller scale patterns that will evenly multiply into the larger size. This image is currently 10 by 12. We could create subpatterns by making a new file by entering a scale that will multiply evenly into the height and width of the original artwork. The subpattern I created here is a quarter inch by a quarter inch. I'm going to create a polka dot pattern for this demo. I'm going to offset my subpattern. I'm going to define this as a pattern under Edit, Define Pattern, and then I'm going to fill that into the background color of this artwork. So on the paint bucket, I'm going to change paint bucket setting from foreground to pattern. This will allow me to select the most recent pattern that I designed and fill it into that space. Please take note, the anti-alias option is not checked and contiguous is not checked. So this pattern in theory, if I offset it, should repeat vertically and horizontally. So we shouldn't see any disruptions in that polka dot subpattern that I just created. Subpatterns can really be any style or type of artwork. In this case, I might make a twill that I'll put into the artwork. I'm going to define this twill as a pattern, and then I'll do this in a couple different colorways. Edit, define pattern, edit, define pattern. Edit, define pattern. I'm going to apply these new subpatterns of different colorways to the artwork that I just created. And that's how you create and integrate subpatterns into the artwork. 